guys. Um, I am here today to show you our newest stamp set. Um, it's a hexagon stamp set and I'm really excited to show you. It will be available in the store on May 1st, 2023 and we will restock it as it sells out. So if it's sold out, just probably wait a little while and we'll probably be restocking it. Um, so this stamp set can be used alone, just like it is. Um, each of the five individual images can just be stamped alone. And I'm gonna show you that. And then it can also be used to make shaker boxes. Um, and I'll show you that too. So I will just start out showing you a few ideas that I was thinking when I designed it. Oops. Um, first off, you can stamp on any color, obviously, any color of paper. So this first one looks like um, crackle texture. And so you could stamp on any color paper with crackle texture. I'll use this faded jeans color to show you an example. I like to put a piece of foam under where I'm going to stamp so it's nice and padded underneath it. So this is how that crackle texture will look with, you know, on a colored paper with colored ink. And if you wanted to make it pop a little, you have an outline stamp here. I'm gonna peel this off the block, reuse this a few times. So you've got the outline stamp and you could either outline it in the same color ink or I'm going to outline it with black ink. Okay, and obviously you could do that all over a project. You could fussy cut it out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, another way to do this is to ink or use just cardstock. And I'm just gonna use ink on white paper. I'm gonna do the whole background in this stormy sky color. So it's almost gonna be like stamping tone on tone almost. And then I'm going to take the wood grain texture, just so you can see what that looks like. And I'm going to stamp that in this faded jeans right over the top of what I just um, what I just inked up. So now this is going to look like blue wood grain because the light blue is showing in the back. And then you could do that, you know, on a paper, like directly on your layout, or you could go in and fussy cut it. So it will appear that you have a blue wood grain or whatever color ink you're using, wood grain hexagon. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this to do the next step that I'm thinking of, which I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. So I'm using the smaller solid hexagon I'm going to ink it up in this same color, so it's tone on tone. I'm gonna to place it right in the middle here. Okay, and it's, you know, it's kind of hard to see, but that's fine. I don't want it to be extremely popping out. And I'm going to do the large one in the same color again around the outside. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with my X-Acto knife. I'm going to trim out the middle. I like to do multiple thin cuts with my X-Acto knife instead of trying to cut it out in one, um, in one cut. It's just easier, you have more control if you do thin, multiple thin light cuts. 
So I'm getting this middle out. And now I'm gonna cut out just right around the outside edge. And if I wanted, I could have used a different color ink to do this solid outline of the hexagon. I didn't have to use, you know, the same ink color. If you wanted it to be um, colors to match your layout, then you would use black or another color. So now we've got that piece. We can save this piece and use it too. I'm going to go ahead and move this. I'm going to adhere um, acetate, clear acetate uh, transparency paper to this. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut around it um, as best I can. So I'm creating a little window here. So I've got this little hexagon shaped window with clear acetate. And then I'm going to flip it upside down and trim some of these foam adhesive pieces. I'm making them thin, that's why I'm trimming them. I'm just gonna lay, well, I didn't peel off all the back there. I'm just gonna lay them all around the edges of this hexagon with no gaps because I'm going to fill this with sequins and I don't want it to leak out of the little gaps. So I'm not leaving any space between each little piece of tape. And I'm not gonna make a ton of these on camera, but I will have these made. You, obviously this one I used this stamp set and the pattern to basically make my own pattern paper. The next one I'm going to do using patterned paper and just the two solid um, outlines of the hexagon. You'll see what I mean. But there's so many ways to mix and match this, so you can use your imagination and your creativity to use it in different ways on different patterns of paper or on solid cardstock or multiple colors. Like you could put one, cut one hexagon out of one color paper and the top of the shaker out of a different. Like for instance, if, if I was making 4th of July layout right now, maybe I would make one wood hexagon blue like this and then, and then this one that I'm doing for the top red so then it would look, and then I could put white sequins inside or patriotic sequins inside and it would look like patriotic. Or you could do the same for Christmas with different colors. So that is how the shaker will look. Trim, I had a little funky part going on. So <clears throat> let's make another shaker. This time I'm gonna make it all using patterned paper. So this is what you would do if you want to make a shaker with just this stamp and this stamp using patterned paper. I would stamp it in black. And then I would stamp the smaller one in black. Okay, so this is going to be the top of the shaker. But now you still need the back of the shaker. So I'm gonna use this big stamp one more time. And that will be the back. I'll show you exactly what I mean right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out a little larger than the outline. 
because I want the outline to show in my shaker when I'm done. It's gonna be design element. <clears throat> so it will look like my shaker has an outline to it. So this is the back of the shaker. And this is gonna be the front where the window sits. Okay, and again, we're gonna have to cut out that middle part with an X-Acto knife. And again, I'm gonna cut out a little bit inside of this black line so that the black line looks like part of my shaker, like I meant for it to be outlined. If you don't want the line to show, you could stamp in a color that is close to the color of your pattern paper or, um, or just cut on the inside of the black line instead. And then it won't show because you'll cut that area out. We're gonna tape in the little window. It's just easier for me personally to tape it down to this acetate first and then go through and cut it out. Because when the acetate is not adhered to this hexagon, it slides all over. So I kind of make a mess but you could try to cut the acetate first before adhering it to there. And then we'll get these on there real quick. My sequins mix. You have to be kind of careful when you're peeling off the, the back side of this sticky because if you bump your shaker while you're doing it, all of the sequins comes flying out. I want to make sure that I have the pattern going the same direction. So I need to pick this up and peek underneath it. Okay. I need to put it on this way. See how those little guys like to get stuck there. And then slide the back on. And then we have a little shaker that's outlined. If some of the back is sticking out a little from the bottom because you didn't get it too straight, you could just trim it off. I had two little sides trimming off. So that's how you can make shakers with this stamp set. You could also just stamp an entire background, um, like your own background paper with it and put hexagons, you know, next to each other. I'll do some really quick, really quick work right here. Like, guys, this is not going to be super straight and lined up perfectly because I'm just showing you real fast on the video. But you could make easily, you know, a grouping like that. And since you've got two sizes, you can even come in and you know, put them in the center or use different sizes on the edges, stuff like that. And then this is what I was meaning that I was going to show you. Oh, here, this is even fun. I'll try it with the small one. I just get sidetracked of all the different ideas I can do here. But I really like this on patterned paper just um i can use the back of this to off stamp so i'm just stamping the outline on paper that's already wood grain patterned and you can basically make your own background paper with hexagons And then, you know, it could go like that, or that could just be a border down your page or something like that. Okay, finally, I'm going to show you all three stamp, all three texture designs and what they look like on 
till non till. So I'm going to ink this up really well with the stormy sky. It's fine that we can see a bunch of brush marks. I'm doing this really quickly and not blending very well, but it's gonna be covered up so much that you, you aren't gonna really notice it. So here is the brick. And again, I'm gonna get this pad under here for these texture ones so they can get nice and solid images. So this is what the brick texture looks like. And the wood grain. I'm just gonna do one of each on this page. And this crackle. And these are nice, like, pretty standard masculine textures, which is why we picked these. And you can either leave them like that or outline them. And I'm actually going to try to outline them with the light blue color. Oop, I stamped off the side a little. Let's try this again. It just makes the edges a little clean if you stamped right around. It coordinates with our packaging too. So if you wanted to stamp, for instance, right here, this crack, if you wanna stamp on this blue, it coordinates with the blue size. It, the, it fits inside of this other size, but it fits the same size as this blue one. So let me, give you this is going to be a great example let me get my black ink again and this is the crackle stamp how could i forget that it coordinates with the packaging and now you have a nice crackle texture hexagon that you can fussy cut and use on your layout. This looks really good on dark paper with black. I'm really loving this crackle pattern. But now you've got that as an embellishment on your layout. So you've got all kinds of stuff, guys. Um, have fun. I'm gonna put pictures of all of this at the end of the video. So you can refer back to this video and get ideas and remember all the different things that you can do with this stamp set. Thanks for watching. Bye.